Hello everybody, it's Lynn again, and I wanted to do a two-part video on how I made this card. I posted it on a Tim Holtz site, and it has gotten so much activity, and people are asking how I do that, and I'm not sure if they're asking how I made the bird, or how I made the background, or both, so I just thought I would do it in two parts, and um, to keep it a little shorter, and start with the background of the uh, card and then I'll do the bird on another video. But um, on the, this particular background, I know a lot of people commented on the colors of it, so I thought I'll just do the same one again and use the same colors so I can show everybody how that was put together. What you'll need for this, um, and you don't have to use this particular background. Uh, I've gone ahead and made up an extra one here. It's already embossed. It's on watercolor paper with um, white embossing powder to make it very stark. Um, the stamp set that I've used in this particular one is called Alt New Pattern Play. I love this um, big background stamp, and that's that's what I used on it. And um, I also used, <clears throat> to make the circles on the card, this little elemental type stamp. It does not have a name. Um, a friend gave this to me and because um, I was looking for something like it. And she's like, I've got one. I've had it for about seven years. So... Um, it's old, but I believe if you maybe Google on Etsy or something, um, circle distress stamps or stitch stamps or something like that, you might be able to find um, a knockoff one. Um, so you need that. And then the colors that you'll need today um, for this color combination are antique linen, salvaged patina, rusty hinge, and black soot. All right. The other thing that I will have on hand is my watercolor or, uh, painter, aqua painter, and just some water because I do like my colors to flow. So what we're going to do, I'm going to set this aside for right now. I'm actually going to set it up so I can, I'll just kind of try to do it the same way I've done it in the past. Um, so I'll take my watercolor paper, and the first thing I'm going to do is, oh, the other thing you'll need is a spritz bottle because you want to lightly spritz your uh, watercolor paper just to help the distressed spray stains flow a little bit better. So I'm just going to lightly spray that. And the first color I'm going to go with is the Rusty Hinge. And I'll just put a little bit up here. And the next color I'm going to go with will be, um, I'm going to come down to the bottom. And this is the antique linen. And I'll spray a little down here. And then you can never go wrong with salvage patina. So we'll put a little salvage patina here in the middle. And I'm trying to leave this white over on this side. I'm trying to specifically not put it there. And so we'll put that there. And then I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of black soot. A little bit goes a long way, okay? Now, my black soot, if you can see, it's um, it's thick in the middle, and I, I need it to flow a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray all of this to try to get the inks moving. And I want just a little bit more rusty hinge up here. Okay, so those are moving pretty good. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat set this. And I apologize, I have to listen to that. And if the stuff, if the inks start blending too much, just dab them up with um, a paper towel. Like I don't want tons of it over here. So I'm gonna dab that up. And I'm gonna try to get this dry as fast as I can because there's another step that I wanna do. And you can, if you want on this particular background stamp, you can, um, well, I can't pick it up, okay. You can kind of tilt it a little bit so that the colors drop to the bottom of the triangles. But we can, if you don't do that, you can, you can still do it with more uh, spray stain um, by putting it on with the aqua painter. But I'm gonna just try to get this dry. And I very well, just for the sake of time, I might dab up a lot of this and then go back with the aqua painter and put in more color because it's gonna to take too long to dry and we don't have time. Um, it's hard to watch long videos. So I'm just gonna go and 
I keep moving my things so I don't get paint or color inside of other colors that I don't want to be there. So I'm just going to dry some of those up a little bit. And you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here to make it. I hate to waste good ink. There we go. You know, when you um, heat cardstock or uh, watercolor paper, it, it, it tends to bend. Um, you can just heat it on the opposite side and it will bend back. So I would just hold this up and put the heat gun under it and it'll bend back, but I don't, I don't need to do that just yet. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I want to add, as you can see, I've got some darker colors in mixed in uh, with that. Let me show you on the card that is not put together yet. You can see how it's darker here. And I want to do the same thing on this one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my <clears throat> rusty hinge. And I just scored a little bit on my glass mat. And I get my watercolor painter, but I try to get most of the water out of it. Uh, it's been sitting in my water and I just, I don't want it to be too um, sopping wet because it'll just take forever to dry. And so I'm just gonna go back in here and add more intense color on each of my diamonds. Again, you're, you're not necessarily gonna have this background stamp, unless you're like me and you say, I see it, I want it, I've got to go get it. I saw this on somebody's card and I was like, oh, I, I have to have that one. Um, and that's fine too. <clears throat> it's a great stamp, it's very versatile. I use it on a lot of backgrounds, so. So you can see I just added some more intense color on that one. Okay, the next color I'm gonna do is the Salvage Patina. And if you really wanted to darken it up, you could go with a little bit darker shade like a, a Peacock Feathers, but I don't feel like I need to do that. I, I rushed, washed out my brush and now I'm getting most of the water off of it. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do the same thing on this Salvage Patina. I'm just darkening up some of the triangles or spots. If, if you didn't have this one, you would just maybe have, I don't know, some other kind of pattern. Geometric patterns are always kind of fun. So I need a little bit more. I love the blue. I try to make sure that I have plenty of blue on it because the bird is gonna be a lot of the brown colors. And um, Okay. Next color will be the antique linen. Same steps, wash out my brush, dry it off a little bit, and come in here. Hope I'm in the frame, yep. Okay. My sweet husband for my birthday got me a new lighted um, phone stand called Canvas. And so far I really like it. I like it that it lights up what I'm doing because sometimes I'm just working down here and I just need more light because you know, I'm getting old. Okay, and the last color will be the black soot. And again, black soot a little goes a long way. But when I do this, I just feel like it kind of um, intensifies the diamonds just a little bit more. And I don't, my intention is never to color in the whole diamond perfectly. They actually, in the set, it has stamps that can do that. I, that's not my intention. Um, but I want it to kind of look organic and free, um, like I didn't put a lot of thought into it. That's what I want it to kind of look like. Okay, so that would be the background. And you can see on this one, it's just maybe a tiny bit more intense than this one, maybe, maybe not, because I'm getting ready to do something else that I forgot to mention. This is a Dina Wakeley's um, medium, Media Gloss Spray White. 
and look at my bottle. It's a mess. It's a mess. And it's just because of the way I do it. I spritz very little on there. You can see some of the white splatter on there. It kind of tones it down. It kind of distresses it. So I, I love this stuff, but I make a mess with it. I get it all over my hands and everything. All right, let me dry this real quick. Oh, before I did it, well, yeah, let me dry it first. So I don't want inks running together. If y'all remember, I left all my ink over here on the glass mat. So I'm gonna pick one of the colors to do a little bit of splattering on the card with. And I think I'll do the rusty hinge because it looks like I have a good bit of that. I do black all the time with black acrylic paint, so I'm gonna do it a little bit different, keep this a little more earthy, and do um, the rusty hinge. So. But because my inks were still wet, they would just bleed together if I don't get them dry. So I've got to take a minute, get this dry. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is once again, clean out my um, brush and dry it a little bit. Give myself a little bit more rusty hinge. And I'm just gonna load up this um, watercolor painter with it and just tap it. Sometimes I need something to tap it with. Bear with me. And I'll tap the color uh, onto some of the other colors. Uh, even on the rusty hinge, it's okay to put it color on color. And that would be about it on that, okay? So let me waste more good ink. Let me wipe this up. All right, let's dry this a little bit. And it did bleed a little bit there. That's, it's gonna be okay. The bird would go there and cover it up. Okay, the next step will be um, this white spray. Y'all, this is, <coughs> this is an art. Uh, it's not ever gonna turn out the same way twice. But I barely press, let me shake it up. I barely press the dispenser on it so that it comes out kind of a little gloppy. Is that a good word, gloppy? And sometimes I'll press it too hard and it'll do a fine mist. But you can see how it... does that. Those are the little um, spritz on there. They um, dry not white white they're kind of a translucent white they're not it's not going to be solid white on there is what i'm trying to say it'll kind of pick up some of the color that it's on so i need to get that dry i'm sorry it takes a while to dry these things Um, I forgot one other stamp that I used on this, and it's just another little elemental stamp. It's uh, by Prima. It's some words that I'll just, um, just to distress it just a little bit more, I'll put some of those on there. I'll grab that in just a minute. We'll do the circles and those words, and then this background will be done, and then I'll move on to the bird on my next video. The bird dye, while I'm doing this, is by Altenew. It's called, I'm sorry, it's not by Altenew. <laughs> Altenew does have a bird dye. Um, it's by uh, Tim Holtz, and it's called Bird and Egg. And um, let's see, it looks like this. It's a thin lip dye. I love it. I'm not really much into piecing things together, <laughs> but this one really goes together very well. And he's done just a great job of um, numbering the dies so you know which one goes on the next level and so forth. Okay, so hold on, let me grab that um, Prima stamp. Okay, the Prima stamp that I use, and there's they have a lot of great ones. It's called Elementals Messy One. It's, you can't really see it, mine's so messy. 
um, Elemental One, I believe is what it's called, by Prima. And it's just a tiny little thing and it's bendable so that when you want to stamp it and you just want pieces of it, it bends so it makes it really easy. First thing we'll do is we will do the um, circle backgrounds. I, you know how to do these things, but I'll go ahead and do it real quick um, when I can find my stamping blocks. I promise y'all, I'm, I'm not a professional at this. I just like to show people how to do it. And um, so that's why I don't have everything out. I'll start with the small ones. We can get the idea with this. And um, I'll go back and find the bigger one later and cross over some of the uh, larger ones onto the smaller ones. But this will give you an idea. So I just... I just like these. I love these. I'm so thankful to my friend Lisa for sending them to me because how thoughtful was that of her? She knew I wanted it and she did it. Friends are, friends are great. Um, let's see. And I'm lucky. I have a lot of friends in this in my groups that I'm in. I just have become really good friends with people and I am so thankful for their friendships. Even though they're long distance, they're great friendships. Okay, y'all, y'all are gonna think I'm crazy. I'm gonna just use this lid, because <laughs> I can't find it. I'm gonna have to just ballpark where I want them. <laughs> I sit down here and eat cashews a lot, so this is my cashew lid. Well, if it'll stay on, let's see. Okay, I'm, it's not gonna stay on, okay. Y'all just have to envision. I'm going to put probably a round one here and a round one there and maybe a, a bigger round one there, okay? I don't try to overdo it with them. I just try to put some on there. And I have no idea where my block is. It's probably somewhere with ink on it because I use it as a palette a lot of the time. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to do much of this, but this would be the elementals. And I'm going to um, stamp it off just a little bit so it's not too intense. Stamping off just means to take off some of the darkness. So we'll just go like that and get some off. And I might just come up here and do that. I hate it when I don't get it straight. And I might turn it sideways and do that. And maybe a little up here in this corner. You can do as much or as little as you want here. It just, as I've said in some of my other videos, um, the more layers of things like this that you put on, it just it just looks like there's just much more into the card than what you started out with. So it just, it's, I just call it putting layers on. And I think I learned that from a YouTube, a, a lady named Tiffany who does some amazing uh, videos and hers are much more professional. So anyway, that's the background guys. We'll move on to the bird on another day. My daughter is graduating this week, so um, I'm doing good to get this one done. So it'll probably be next week before I can get the bird done, but I'll get it done. I hope you all have a great day and I hope you enjoy it. And let me know if you like it or you learned something new. Thanks.